As we've been seeing over the last few weeks, there have been hundreds and thousands of Rohingya that have fled over the border into Bangladesh to seek refuge. Now, one of the main jobs is to register them, and I'm in an area in Shaplapur where this task is taking place, and you can see the lines behind me as people queue up to get officially registered, and that's when their real aid can start. An average of 2,000 refugees a day are crossing over the border, and although they are being allowed to settle in these refugee camps, living in these heavily populated areas increases the risk of diseases such as cholera caused by a lack of clean water or sanitation. The Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat in Bangladesh is working in conjunction with Humanity First to make sure that the refugees who are registered here are able to be fed properly. Behind me, you can see they're queuing up and receiving a hot meal. And today I've been told that a thousand separate meals have been prepared to distribute to the refugees here at this camp. Alhamdulillah, Humanity First Bangladesh uh, is able to respond to the call of humanity and at the instruction of our beloved Khalifa we approached the government and we offered three sectors uh, medical camp, emergency medical camp and uh, sanitation and water supply and hot meal for the uh, incoming uh, Rohingya refugees. So government allowed us all three sectors. We started with the um, sanitation and water supply. We already working in the Kutupalong uh, camp, Rohingya camp, and now uh, and, and then we started our medical camps also. It's running for about seven days, eight days. Now we have started today only. We started the hot meal supply in um, Shamlapur uh, Rohingya camp. After crossing the border, the Rohingya come to refugee camps such as this one here in Kutupalong. I've come to have a look at it today. There's literally thousands of makeshift tents as far as the eye can see. And although they have a safe place to stay, it's important to note that they're surviving on the most basic of rations and supplies. In Kutapalong alone, there are over 170,000 people currently residing. Bangladesh is trying to do all that it can to provide a dignified life to the refugees who have settled here, but it is struggling to cope without swift international help. This area has been transformed into a mini city. Behind me, you can hear the hustle and bustle from the main road. There's aid convoys coming in, NGO organizations working here as well. And the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat in Bangladesh has been assigned one sector of this camp by the government. And we're going to go and have a look and see what they're doing there to serve the needs of the refugees. So this is the D5 block of the Kutapalang refugee camp here in Bangladesh and what you can see behind me is the area that has been assigned to humanity first. We have a number of volunteers who are working here and they're working on three major projects. Firstly is to give proper sanitation and toilets. Second is access to water where they've been installing water pumps. And third is the medical camp which have just installed and made operational today which gives basic first aid to the people who need it most. We have planned everything in Dhaka. We set up our teams, we bought our resources and uh, uh, supplies from Chiragong. We brought it by truck here. We hired an under construction building as a base camp. So we uh, had our kitchen started, we bought our cook and uh, our volunteers. Humanity First volunteers came up here, they cooked the, for the whole night and then prepared the food. Uh, our only uh, say to the government was make to keep the uh, uh, system discipline. Otherwise, uh, public cannot make it discipline, only army can make it discipline. So they, may, they are maintaining the discipline and we are able to serve them hot food. As political diplomacy continues to take small steps towards a lasting resolution, aid agencies and charities such as Humanity First provide a necessary service for the daily essentials that the rest of the world takes for granted. Ghalib Khan, Reporting from Bangladesh for MTA News.